Welcome to Changes for a Lifetime. Today I'm going to teach you all how to make edamame. It is a soybean and it is delicious. I'm going to show you how to make it and how to eat it correctly. That's the most important part. So I got the frozen kind. I used to find the fresh but I can't find it anymore. So I settled and got the frozen kind. I get it from Trader Joe's. This package is a 16 ounce package and it's $1.99. So I submerge it in boiling water for about three minutes. Doesn't take long. Make sure the water is rolling. So the bubbles are rising. I'm just going to drop it in. And that's it for two minutes. So we'll be back in two minutes. It's no longer rolling and if you'd like you can just try to taste test one. That's exactly what we're going to do because it has to be, you don't want it to be mushy. So we're going to get one. I'm going to show you in a minute, but it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. So we have to strain it in cold water and then the next step, which is the seasoning, which is the most important part. Okay, pour it in the colander. Okay, a little cold water. So you just rinse it a little bit. Stop it from cooking. That's why you use cold water, okay? And we're going to put it in a bowl. And then we're going to just pat it dry. Pat it as dry as you can. I usually use a paper towel or a cloth towel. And the next few ingredients are olive oil, sesame seeds, and garlic powder. And if you'd like, you can use real garlic. I use a mixture of both. I think that's good enough. Oh no, you have to flip it and you still see that it's still rather wet. I'm rather frugal, so I'll use one of my clean, dry towels. No need in wasting paper towels. Those are expensive. Ooh. So this towel serves the same purpose, just to dry. You know, when we were growing up, our parents didn't have paper towels. They used a rag for everything. Okay. Dry enough. Let's get to the seasoning. So I'm going to spray a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I like to use this and just toss it first. It should have a slight shine to it. It doesn't take much oil. Purpose is it makes the salt and garlic stick to it. And this is just by feel almost just a little bit. Sprinkle, sprinkle, mix again, can you see it? So each one, each edamame pod should have sesame seeds on it. So to me that's not enough. Okay, there we go. Mix some more. And then salt. This is to taste you all. Just sprinkle this is Himalayan sea salt. Garlic powder. You see how much I'm putting in there? <laughs> if you had guessed, I really like garlic. See? Just mix it up. It's 
So in my opinion, it's really not glistening enough. I think I'm going to put just a little more, one more spray of extra virgin, two more sprays. Okay. And you can't have edamame without fresh garlic. Mm -mm. Fresh garlic, I'm just going to split it right here so I can get the shell out. Not the shell, get the skin off. I have my trusty little garbage right here. So I don't have to be going back and forth, back and forth. Then I dump this in the compost bin. Okay, let's just spray out some fresh ginger. Mmm, see it coming out? So if you don't like, not ginger, garlic, if you don't like garlic, you can use ginger as a replacement. Then you'd have ginger edamame instead of garlic edamame. Okay, you all, this is my favorite part, the part where you eat it. So with edamame, you cannot eat the outer shell. It is not, it's too chewy, it's too tough, don't do it. So we've seasoned the outside, so you just kind of like suck the outside because it's flavorful. And then the pods slide out. Mm -hmm. Or you can go like this, excuse me. And they see they pop right out. And they're kind of sweet and flavorful. So, oh my God, it's so good. I take these to parties as an appetizer. People are like, Lolita, did you bring the edamame? We just sit around eating them. So flavorful. Low in carbs, low in fat, healthy vegetable. Mm-hmm. Okay. You all have to try it. No kidding. It'll be a big hit. Peace and blessings. Changes for a lifetime. Perfect timing, honey. Okay. You're going to be my taste tester. All right. Well, I recognize those. I'll be getting deep into them. Okay. Edamame. See, he eats it a little bit differently, but the point is do not eat the outside, you all. Mm. So good. It is good, isn't it? Yeah. What's it taste like? Well, you get the flavor from the shell. It's got some nice seasoning on it. And then, it's like a nice little pea. A nice little bean. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Obviously very good. Obviously. Yeah. All right. Oh. Signing off. Thank you for tasting. Happy to help. I know you are. Bye. Bye for now. <laughs>